So I'm going to hit GarageBand and I'm going to hit that plus button up there and it will take me to the app. Uh, you can see that there's different options here for the students. We're going to stay with the audio recording for now. We're going to click voice and now we have studio and fun. I'm going to click fun because here it gives you different options for your to change your vocals. If you click clean, you can record it and then you can change it once you're done recording. So it's nice in that way. You want to make sure that you set your stage for your students. You show them that this input right here, you want to change that so that your green vocals is mostly in the middle. If it's up here, that's way too high. So you want to make sure you show that. And then you want to turn the metronome on and off. Um, off because when you have it on, you can hear that metronome noise. So it's just better to have that off. And then you want to make sure, this is really important, that you add a song sections, but you change this to automatic. So we keep that to automatic because then it won't limit you to a song length. So now I'm going to record. And let's say I have the prompt where I want my students to quiz each other, like a game show. So for me, I will start as a student and I will ask the question, what is the largest mammal? Um, this person knows the answer passed on the iPad. I think the largest mammal is a shark. Pass it to someone else. No, I think it's a whale. And then it comes back to me and I said, well, you're correct, it's a, it's a whale. And then move on to the next question. And then once I'm done recording, I would hit that done button there. And this is my recording. Um, I wouldn't change any of this here. I could, but we'll keep it to the clean right now. And then I'm going to hit the track button right up there. And this is my recording. And you can see if there's awkward pauses here, you can like right here, I can double click on the track. I can split it, move this where I want it right here, slice it there, slice it there, and then I can delete that and move this over. When I celebrate someone answering it correct, I'm going to add a sound effect there. So I'm going to go to fun, and maybe I want to make my own. We'll do this one extreme. You are correct. Once you have that done, you're going to go back to the track and it should go right there. And then I'm going to find where I want this. And now let's say maybe that this part is too high or I need to adjust the levels. I can have this be quieter. Maybe someone else is speaking louder. I can duplicate this so that now I can copy and paste this to another spot where we're celebrating someone getting the right answer. I can also add in maybe a sound effect from the sound library and you'll probably will have to download one of these so let's let's use this toy box one. If I click here up in the loops I have the sounds that I downloaded Maybe I want to use this. Ooh, a whale. So then maybe because we talked about a whale, I'm going to include this. And then I'm going to just drag it over to where we're talking about the whale as the largest mammal. So let's preview what this little mini podcast sounds like. I think the largest mammal is a shark. Pass it to someone else. No, I think it's a whale. And then it comes back to me, and I said, you well, you're around. correct, it's a, it's a whale. And then move on to the next. It's not perfect, but it sounds pretty good coming from an iPad, and it's really easy for students to be able to do because they can pass their iPad around, and it's um, easy to handle. And it sounds pretty good. So reviewing some things, you want to make sure that when your students are recording that you show them the in and out, and you show them how to turn off the metronome, and that you have the section be automatic. And then to have them go back to their track playlist, they will click that button up there. You wanna make sure you show them that they can pinch to zoom into their track and 
that when they want to edit out some of these awkward pauses, you want to show them that when they want to edit it, split it, they double click, split, and slice it. And they want to delete that. So they can delete that, they can pinch out to then move this. They make it really nice and easy on GarageBand to move things, to split them and edit them, and it's really nice that way. When they're done, they would hit the button up there and then they can export this. They can share this right with you.